What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles to YouTube channel. Today is Expand Thursday and uh, we're finally covering the last deck uh, from the Guardians Rising. The last GX card we have not covered and that is going to be Turchinator GX. Now we know we've seen this card and has seen some sex in Standard but today we're going to focus all around it. If you notice we're playing three Turchinator and only one Volcanian instead of the other. Now, I did make a poll on a Facebook group, and one of the biggest ones that people want to see was a Turtonator Volcano deck and see how did it play out. And so today, we're going to play my variant of it. Um, not 100% sure if this is the correct way to, play, way to play it, but we're going to try it today and see what happens. Now, Turtonator GX is going to be our main kind of Pokemon. He has 190 HP. His attack is Shell Trap. It does 20, and during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, that Pokemon takes 8 damage counters. It has Bright Flame for 160. Discard 2 Fighter Trees. But the main reason we're using this card today is going to be the Nitro Tank GX attack. Attach 5 Fighter Trees from your Skrabel to your Pokemon in any way you like. You can't use one, one more than one GX attack per game. And this is going to be really strong and expanded, especially because we have Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor lets you discard three cards out of your deck, uh, which is really strong because you can discard multiple Fire Gs, and Blacksmiths, whatever. There's a ton of like good cards and expanded for the Fire decks. So that's going to be the goal today. Um, kind of what you want to do is turn one, if you turn Nader with a Fire G, you get a Nitro Tank, putting uh, two fighters on the Volcano next, two fighters on the Volcano X, and one fighter on the active Turtonator, making it where you can Bright Flame the next turn and then have double uh, Volcano Heats later on. We still have the four Volcano EXs with the Volcano Heat doing 130. You can't attack again next turn. You have the Steam Up attack where you discard a Fighter G and you do 30 more damage, uh, which is really, really strong. It does help you hit some good numbers, especially with Choice Band, because Choice Band does get you that 30 more damage. So now you have like Volcano Heat for 130 with Steam Up 160 with Choice Band 190. So you can easily take knockouts with Volcano and X, which is really, really nice. Uh, so this is going to be our main two attackers here, but we still have a Baby Volcanium. Baby Volcanium has that power here to 20, uh, choose two Revenge Pokemon to touch a fighter due to them, and Steam Artillery for 100. Sometimes you still need the Volcanium Steam Artillery to take down like EX Hate Pokemon, which is really, really nice in that situation. Uh, Alright, so everything else is kind of techy here. Of course, Shaman EX to help set up. We have the one Hoopa to search for three EX Pokemon to put on your bench. And that GX is only EXs, remember that. Uh, one Top Ulele to find a supporter card, and one Keldeo with that Russian ability to switch from bench to the active, and then you can reactivate the Volcanic Heat attack. We play 1-1 one, one Starmie. The Starmie does have that Space Beacon once during a turn before you attack. It may discard a card from your hand. If you do, put two basic energy cards from your Skrapala into your hand. And this way, if you get in late game, you can just grab like two Fire Gs and be good to go. And then one card you mainly want to discard with Space Beacon is going to be the Execute. Execute does have that propagation, which which says once during each player turn, or once during a turn, sorry, this Pokemon, if it's if this Pokemon's your discard pile, put it back into your hand. And you can constantly do this over and over again. So you can propagate the execute, use space speak and discard it, you can propagate the execute, use ultra ball, discard it, propagate the execute, use computer search. There's a lot of different things that execute goes with uh, that can help out a lot. So that's what's in the deck here for sure. And with three compressor, you can easily just discard a turn one and use it later on. So, our A spec of choice is going to be Computer Search. Uh, discard two cards in your hand, search deck for any card, and put it into your hand. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher to get one Pokemon back into your hand, or three back in your deck. This is really good. Just grab like Lele if you have to discard it. Maybe you need a Volcania back, maybe a Turtonator, you're good to go. Uh, four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker for maximum consistency. And three Skyfield because we're going to have a full bench. We got the Hoopa, we got multiple Volcanians, we got uh, Staryu, we got Keldeo. We, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to fill up turn one. But after turn one, you don't really care anymore because you can like discard the Pokemon you don't need, like the Hoopa and then the, the Tapu Lele or the Shaman. And then you'll have a perfect bench of five, which is really nice. Uh, we have Field Blower as well to discard two, state, two, two tools or stadium cards. Uh, this used to be a tool scrapper, but Field Blower is 100% better. Uh, two Blacksmith to attach two Fire Energy from Discord Palette to one of your Fire Pokemon, which is really nice because once again, we're playing Compressor, all that kind of good stuff. You can threaten a turn one and Bright Flame with a Choice Band from 190, which is really, really strong. Uh, two Colors because we're going to have a full bench, and your opponents probably have a lot of bench Pokemon as well. Show up your hands to deck, and then draw a card for each Pokemon on the bench, which is really good. Two Lysander, um, Dragon Pokemon with the bench. One in and four Juniper. Uh, one thing I kind of want is a second in, but only playing one right now. 
for the most part, you're okay with just discarding your cards in your hand, unless it's like a rescue stretcher or like one of the one ofs, and that could be re really unfortunate. Two choice band, so you get that extra 30 damage, so you do the Volcano Heat for 160. Uh, two Flowstone for the Caldeo or whoever to get that free treat, which is really nice. And 13 Fire Dogies. And there we go. There's no max looks in this deck because turn one, I just want a Blacksmith or maybe just Nitro Tank GX. So I really don't want to focus too much on max looks. Yes, it's still good because you can like Blacksmith plus like blacksmith plus max elixir and like maybe retreat the active and you could do it that way but you can also just attach to the active and blacksmith to the active if you want to go that way as well um elixir is still good don't get me wrong i just couldn't find space for it in this variant i and i really kind of i mean it's good I, I know it's good i know it's good but nitro tank is just so good like you get five energies out turn one which is broken but guys hope you enjoyed this video uh is volcanian ex good and exp is turtonator volcanian good or not or is it better just play the straight volcanian version not play turt and not play turtonator at all that's what we're going to figure out today but guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you have a fantastic day hit that subscribe button and let's see the deck in action all right so make this full metal gooey uh looks like they're playing a toad deck uh this turret is probably with like crobat and or uh garbo we'll see which one it is we lost a coin full be going second but maybe we we'll have to turn one crazy turtonator thing but no we're gonna go first which is usually a sign that he is probably playing what i think he's playing so well press them we got a fire energy a sky field stretcher and some other stuff okay so water energy i mean i think it's a side field deck and don't know why he opted for us to go second maybe it's not a side field deck but we'll see all right uh we do have free treat which is great we kind of need that and yes we'll draw a card there's a hoopa press done and there's an articuno all right so put on turtonator is an archie stories deck maybe fire energy uh hoopa yes we're gonna have two uh two volcanians we have skyfield so we just grab three volcanians that's fine yeah i got three volcanians all right, so one, two, three, go on our hand. We'll put down Volcanian, put down Volcanian, Skyfield, Volcanian, Tapu Lele, yes. Grabbing an N. And hopefully find a Compressor with this N and discard some stuff our deck. So N, we'll play it in. I'm going to keep the starting the active no matter what. We really don't need to retreat it. There's an Egg and a Compressor. All right, so I'm going to... Compressor, discarding uh, two fires, and a Juniper, just because we had a VS Seeker, we could play our whole hand down. I'm going to put down the Keldeo, and I'm going to put down the Execute, and what this, one, two, three, four, five, what this does, if he does bump our fifth stadium, we can discard the Hoopa, Lele, and Execute, and uh, which is really nice. Now, one thing he could do right here is play a Life Center Egg. And then put down a stadium card, then egg will be stuck. But right now we're looking okay. So dive ball, even though it's water versus fire, um, there's a manatee coming down okay. We can get a turn to nitro tank, get a bunch of energies on the field. There's a manatee coming down with that free treat. Okay. There's an ultra ball discarding two cards out of his hand. And let's see what he decides to discard here. The only other card we kind of needed that turn was a floatstone for our Keldeo, unfortunately. But right now we should, uh, I think we're, we need to hit like another compressor and then we have the full effect of using the nitro tank getting five energies on the field. If we do that, we're good. If we find a second more, we'll be okay as well. Uh, VS secret would be nice. So Shaman, gonna come down, set up for three new cards. One, two, three. Uh, can't, I mean, is he playing like nine tails? Is he playing, um... Archie's toys, maybe. So discards an N and a second more. Okay, so he had both options. Okay, there's a size toad. So he has a size toad EX deck. All right. Like I said, the only unfortunate thing is we did not find a flowstone for our Keldeo, which is what I'm kind of scared of because he can lock us. But I mean, Turknator, I mean, we could just use Bright Flame for the knock on our toad. Uh, toad Quaker Punch only does 30, so it's not too scary. Uh, we just got to see. Does he play a supporter card? He had an N and Sycamore. There's a DC on a toad. And which one's in his hand? There's an Aqua Patch to the Toad. Oh boy. Uh, that means he can start Grenade Hammering. So, no, gonna put a Water Gen on the Manaphy, actually. And there's a VS Seeker grabbing Sycamore. Gonna discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. Um, I think I want an Aqua Patch to the Toad just to like try to threading a Quicket Punch or a Grenade Hammer, which can knock out our Turtonator. 
Okay, there's a field blower, and this is fine. I'm gonna discard a Hoopa, a Lele, and an Egg. That's actually like what we wanted to happen, because now we get rid of those Pokemon we don't want stuck in the active spot. And there's a Trainer Smell. Does he find a Floatstone Fury Belt? If he finds both those cards, he can knock out our Staryu this turn. If he does not, then we'll be able to free treat, keep the Staryu in play, and start using that Nitro Tank GX. We just gotta hope we find um, something. <laughs> we just gotta find a supporter card, and we'll be good to go. So the choice ban uh, still does not knock us out. Quick Punch does not get boosted damage to non GX and EX Pokemon. If it's a laser, that could work. Choice ban on the Articuno. Fear Belt to Toad. And a pass onto Archer. And all right, so there's a VS Seeker. That's a fantastic top deck. So I'm gonna VS Seeker for a Juniper. Okay. I am going to Juniper discarding two Fire Energies. Can we find another Fire Energy to put in the discard pile to get that full effect? And we do. Alrighty, so we got four. We'll have the fifth one. So I am going to Ultra Ball just to get out of our deck. Discarding the Turtonator and the Fire Energy to grab a Starmie. Alright. We'll put down a Starmie in the active spot. The only thing we didn't find was a... Um, <sighs> we didn't find... Oh my goodness, I didn't retreat. But that's fine. So what we can do here is Space Beacon. Uh, grabbing a Skyfield, I kind of misplayed there. Uh, it's fine, we're gonna, we're gonna fill our hand down. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get two Fire Gs, misplay, but we're still gonna be okay here. Putting two Fire Gs in our hand. We'll put a Fire G in the active, retreat to the Terminator. I forgot to retreat first, obviously. Uh, we'll steam up discarding a Fire G. I'm going to put the Choice Band on the Bench Volcanion. And I'm going to go for that Nitro Tank GX. I'm going to grab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll we'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Forgot to VS Seeker for another supporter card. Because if we, if we Quake Punch this turn, we can't use our, our VS Seeker anymore. Whoops. But if he does a Quake Punch, we can VS Seeker for like an N and punish him. So either way, it's fine. There's a Keldeo coming down. Can we do 220 next turn? Uh, yeah, this Volcanion has a uh, choice band, some other stuff. There's a water to the Articuno. We see a Sycamore. He needs a Field Blower here. Right now, Quake Punch will not do any damage, really. It'll do uh, 80. There's a Red Ice coming down, which could be really bad for us. Um, just because we have to deal with Resistance Blizzard. 789. It does one-shot us. It doesn't one-shot the Turchinator, so that's good, at least. So, water on the Red Ice, okay. So retreat to size to it, and we're gonna see a Quaken Punch here. Alrighty, so there's a Quaken Punch, but we're gonna colors for 10 new cards. So 80 damage, on our turn, what do we find here? We find a choice band, so we'll use the colors, gonna shuffle, get 10 new cards, and we don't actually find enough cards to take a knockout. Um, so let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't, can space beacon give us any energies? No. Hmm. Okay, we can put a fire engine in the active. Retreat to Volcanion. Space beacon for two? But that's still not enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is just shell trap. No, I'm going to, um. Let's see here. So we'll steam up. Discard a Fire Energy. We will Space Beacon. Discarding a Terminator. Really don't need that card anymore. Get a Fire Energy back in our hand. And put a Fire Energy on a Bench Volcanion. And we're going to go for Shell Trap. Alright. So 50. If he swings it to us, he'll take 80 damage. And then we can potentially... Uh, knock him out next turn with a with like a regular attack. So the train just I mean the thing we're scared about here is the resistant blizzard uh reg ice. So is he a life center going to his hand? Okay. <sighs> yeah, because that resistant blizzard can just constantly knock us out over again. So there's a life center bringing up the bench volcanian, okay. Do you have a DCE here? There's a splash into the active. And a quaken punch. Alrighty, so this is fine with me. Um and there's a fire energy top deck too, so we'll we'll steam up, discard a fire energy. Alright, so we're doing six, seven, eight, we're doing six, seven, and we're doing one ninety. 
I'm going to Space Beacon, uh, discard an Ultra Ball to get the Fighter G back in her hand. Okay. I'm going to put that to Fighter G to a Bench Volcanian X. And I'm just going to Volcanian Heat for the knockout, doing 190 damage. Knocking out the side show, going down to four prize cards. Uh, what this allows to do is to life center up a Shaman to take a knockout, or maybe a Manaphy for the knockout. He's got two squishy Pokemon that are very easy to knock out with their Volcanians. So the Splash Energy does let him get back to the side show, but he needs to find a DC to get this Resistant Blizzard off. But even if he does, he's still going to be in a bad situation. We have multiple outs as of right now. And there is a Sycamore, no in, which should not disrupt our hand, but we might see this Volcanian X go down this turn. So is he a max looks like look at top cards of his deck. Did he with the DCE? He's only played one so far. So uh Max looks did a size turn, okay. Alright. Uh there's DCC active, so he will get a resistant blizzard off, but we have so many cards we're gonna play down this turn and uh put ourselves in a good position. So they receive a quick punch doing 180. I just don't know if our life sander is prized. That could be bad, but we'll send the Volcanian X, okay? On our turn, we get a Compressor. So we're going to press her, look at our deck, and see what's all in there. Um, the Life Center's in, so that's really good. So with this, I'm going to discard cards we don't need. So like, the Bay Volcanian, Bay Volcanian actually should be really useful. Um, maybe to knock out his guy later on. So we'll keep the Bay Volcanian there. We'll discard Compressor, we'll discard Ultra Ball. And we'll discard a choice bed. Yeah, because we need the fire juice for later on. So we'll, put those, we'll discard those three. We'll computer search. Discard a blacksmith and ultra ball. To grab a Lysander. All right. We'll Lysander up the Shamaniac. Oh, we'll, we'll Lysander the Manaphy. It doesn't really matter. We're going to knock out either one. Both are kind of squishy. Uh, put out a Volcanian X. We'll put a Fighter G on the Turchinator. And we'll do a Volcanian Heat for the knockout. Going out of two price cards, okay? So take two price cards. There's one and two. We find a Flowstone and a Lysander. All right, so the second Lysander coming to our hand. Uh, we already played our Tapu Lele, but we have Stretcher. Stretcher can get us Tapu Lele. He'll take a knockout this turn, most likely. And all we have to do is knock out a Shaman X with a Bright Flame for 160. But does he have an end? Will he end us a three? We have Shamans in there. We have a, okay, so there's a license of his own. Going around the Turchinator, and that is going to be the game. He needed an end that turn, which I don't know if he has. I don't know if he knows how, that, how this mechanic works. But we'll see Resistance Blizzard for the knockout. Going out of two prize cards. We can set up our own Volcanian and knock out pretty much whoever we want to. Uh, three, six. We have double steam up right now, thanks to that Starmie. So, and we get a stretcher as well, so we can get a billion stuff, but we're just gonna life sander, bring it up Shaman X, and we'll Volcanic Heat for the knockout. Now this matchup I think it was still kinda easy, even though he had that weakness and stuff like that. We kind of just took abuse of using Volcanians, and uh, the Turnator is just so good. Getting those five energies out, turn two is just broken. It's just really strong, combined with like Battle Crest and stuff like that. And um, there we go. There's game number one with Turnator Volcanian. Now, even though he had that Reg Ice, we could have maybe gone crazy and like tried to dig for a uh, Baby Volcanian, take a knock on a on a Reg Ice that way. But since he put down the shame and put down the mana fee, and we just got knocked out on a size toad, we were good to go regardless. But we'll see another game with the Volcanian deck here in a second. Just wanted to prove that even if you face water, one of your weaknesses, you can still easily take it down. Uh, but guys, I mean, if he didn't bench so many EX Pokemon, we probably would have lost that game. Like, if he only put, like, I mean, I don't know. Because he needed the shame and a sup, he needed the mana fee for free treats, kind of. Uh, so it's definitely a weird situation for my opponent that game. But we'll see another game with the Volcania deck here in a second, and we'll see what happens. All right. All right, so I guess Jose Garcia playing a Grass Psychic Water deck. Is this like Vespa Queen, maybe? That's what I'm thinking of this. I think it's Vespa Queen. So the call the coin flip. Okay. We lost the coin flip, so we're we'll going second. All right, so let's see. I think it's Vespa Queen. Uh, if it is, we need to start. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. We we did it. We got a good, 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 good turn one. Just don't end me, opponent. Oh, my goodness. This hand is so good. Blit. All right. So, we started Volcanian. This hand's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? All right. So, press done. Don't want to put any Pokemon down. Shame and start from my opponent. That's even better for us. All right. So, let's see. What are they playing here? So, Lugia. 
Water energy? Okay, not what I thought it was. A maintenance? Are they playing like Keldeo Blastoise maybe? Choice band to the Lugia. Compressor? Oh baby, is that a Via Seeker? Tell me it's a Via Seeker. Tell me it's a Via Seeker, please. Let's see how this matchup goes. Arch Stories versus Volcanion. I think it's what we're about to see here. He discards two Blastoise and like an Archie, or Archie Blastoise and a Water Energy. And he discards a Blastoise and two eggs. And there's a Lele for the turn one Maxis. Alrighty, so that's exciting. So we'll see a Lele for an Archie's Ace and Hole. And we'll see a turn one Blastoise coming on out. Alright. So we went from one crazy water deck to another crazy water deck. So five cards going to his hand. He's got the Blastoise with the Deluge. Allow him to, allow him to attach as many water juice as he wants for his turn. And does he find a Keldeo? And there's a Keldeo coming out with that Seeker Sword attack. Oh boy. Alright, so Ultra Ball is going to start two cards from his hand. And we're going to have ourselves a match here. We're going to see what's going to win. Archie Stories or Volcania. Two fast uh, hitting decks for sure. Alright, so see Shaman going to come down. Set it for five. Now, he 100% has the advantage here. Um, he's water type. He can hit for weakness. He does have a full bench right now, but we're just going to drop a Skyfield. Uh, but I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We got this, guys. Yeah, we should maybe get this. Especially if we can, like, turn one blow of a Shaman for a knockout. That'd be really cool. Now, he kissed it into Keldeo, but he's not. He actually finds no water G. All right, so we top deck a Juniper. Okay, so we'll Skyfield. We will Hoopa use the Scoundering search for three EX Pokemon. With this, we'll grab two Shamans, or two Volcanians and a Shaman. We got the Starmie in there, so that's good as well. We'll put those in our hand. We'll put down one, two. I'm going to Ultra Ball uh, discard a Juniper and a Execute. Okay, to grab a Staryu. We'll put down the Staryu, and we will Shaman for four new cards. And let's see, what can we find with this Shaman? We find two Compressors and a Fighter G, which will allow us to take a knockout with the Steam Artillery. Oh, baby. No, hold on. No, it won't. We don't have enough Fires. No, we need one more Fighter G, and we will take a knockout here. So we're a Compressor. Uh, we're still going to discard three Fighter Gs. Yeah, three Fighter Gs, okay. We'll compress her again. Discarding a fire. Uh, fire and a chorus. Okay. <laughs> I am going to blacksmith two fighter on this bench. So one and two. Put a fighter on the active. Uh, put down Turtonator. And we will power heater for 20. Uh, putting a fighter G on a bench Volcanian and another Volcanian. All right, so in our opponent's turn, does he have a license to plus three energies? Now, if he does, we still can easily take a knockout on his Keldeo with our uh, with our Volcanian. He needs a license to plus three water energies right now to take a knockout. If he does not, then he'll knock out a Volcanian and we'll win the, the prize exchange war as of right now. Okay. So we see a Keldeo coming down. Turn one, five energy in the field. Seems pretty good to me. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a maintenance, shuffle two in the deck, put one in hand. Or shuffle two, uh, is it shuffle two? Shuffle two cards in your hand and then draw a card. Okay, so we're going to draw a card. He does not have any energies right now, which is great for us. He got the turn one Archies, but after that, did not hit any energies, which is very awkward. So there we see a, a puzzle time. Okay. Uh, use a double puzzle. Yeah, he's playing double puzzle right now. So compressor and Lysander. Okay. This could be really bad. So Lysander up the Volcanium with the three energies. Um, but he doesn't. Oh, he's got okay, if he has a superior energy level, he can take a knockout right now. Because what he could do is he compressor and discard some water energies. Oh boy. Alright. So does he have a superior hand, so propagation number one, or computer search. Computer search for, for a superior can take a knockout right now. Superior energy will take a knockout right now. 
All right. Another propagation coming down, okay. Oh boy, does he have it? Does he have it? I mean, you got it to get this here. There's a compressor, discarding some water energies, most likely. Oh man. Man, we had like the really good turn one, and now this is what can happen when you play against a water deck. All right, so this card's three waters. You gotta think he has that superior energy level in hand, or a computer starts for superior energy level. And there it is, superior energy level. Gonna start two cards out of his hand uh, to grab uh, four waters out of his discard pile. So he has one card left in hand. All right, so there's four water Gs, okay. Hmm, we're in trouble here. You can put three water on the on the active and one of the bench because also all he really needs is those water g's right there so unfortunately he had uh, he had everything oh man okay so we'll see two waters going the active man if only we had one more energy if we, had, if we had hit one more energy we would have to knock on that shaman and have been good to go but we whiffed the energy all right so three on the active he should put one on the bench keldeo because he only needs three to take a knockout all right, yep, there he goes. All right, so he knows what he's doing here. He knows what he's doing. So Secret Sword for the knockout, going down to four price cards. All righty. Okay, this is a little scary. I'm not going to lie to you. So send up Volcanion, okay. On our turn, do we tell like a Via Seeker? We do. Okay. Hmm. Um... He has three cards in hand, so I'm going to VS Seeker for a Blacksmith. Okay. I'm going to Blacksmith water, uh, Fire Energy on this guy, so one and two. And we'll go for Power Heater for 20. All right, we'll put a Fire Energy on this guy and a Fire Energy on this guy. All right, so in our opponent's turn, does he have another VS Seeker for Lysander? If he does, we're in trouble. So there's a water gen bitch, Keldy, okay. Um, because right now we get Bright Flame for the knockout of Keldio, which is really nice. But does he have a Via Seeker? So Via Seeker for another Lysander. Oh my goodness. Alright, so you gotta think that's the game there. So Lysander, gonna be with Terminator, which is the right play. And he's going to take another knockout here. I don't know how we're gonna win this now. All right, so uh, doing 220. Cool beans. Go down to two. We'll send a Volcanion. All right, so on our turn, what do we have here? Get an Ultra Ball. All right, so Ultra Ball doesn't really get us anything, so we'll Toppy Lele. We'll play it. Grabbing it in. Uh, putting him down to two, but I mean, I don't know how we can win this game right now. <laughs> All right, so play it in. Okay. Volcanian, Fire, Lysander. Okay. All right. So put down a Volcanian. I'm going to put a Fire Energy on a Tapu Lele. And I'm going to Steam. I'm going to Power Heater for 20. Putting a Fire Energy in this guy and a Fire Energy in this guy. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we find a Choice Band, we can knock out Caldeo next turn with the Tapu Lele. And end him to one. But does he have a third Via Seeker in hand? Or a second Via Seeker? He's only played one Via Seeker? Oh boy. And there's a Via Seeker for Lysander, and he's gonna take the game. Oh my goodness. Like, we had a great turn one. We got everything set up, but he had the like the better turn one and took us down with his Archisaurus deck. I mean, my play next turn was to end him to one. I hope that Tapu Lele would be enough, but man, it's just a, such a bad matchup. But we'll see another game with the Volcanian Turtonator deck here in a second. That one was just crazy. And oh man, that was just a great start for my opponent. I cannot complain at all. Just had everything, every single time. But maybe the next game we'll get a win. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, so I think it's Dreaming Etchy uh, playing a Grass Lightning Psychic deck. All right, so we won the coin flip. Yes, I'll go first. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we start, all right, we start Volcania and Turtonator. Decisions, decisions, and Keldia, so we're actually fine here. Um, we're starting Volcania in the Axe spot. I don't know what we're playing against. If it gets Vesper Queen, then like Volcania's a little bit better for that. So we'll put down one, we'll put down two, press done, and we'll see what is our opponent playing. So it is a Night March Vesper Queen deck, okay? So Compressor. 
discarding uh, two fires and a blacksmith. We have one blacksmith prized. All right, so put down a uh, Volcanian Axe. Put a choice bin on it, and we'll just Juniper discard our hand, draw on seven new cards. Okay, so there's a Star U, a Volcanian, a Fire Duty to the active, and we actually have a like phenomenal turn one right now. Like we got two Volcanians down, we got the Turnator, and we're looking good right now. Uh, the only problem is we have to deal with a Night March deck, which Night March can do a ton of damage. It can hit for 190. What we gotta hope is that he puts down multiple Shamans. So he's gonna Acrobat actually discard a DCE, which means he has another one in hand if that's the case. So Compressor, gonna discard three cards out of his deck, discards two Lampants and something else. Now what my plan is to do is to uh, go for a uh, Shell Trap, which can do 20. And if he attacks us, he gets knocked out by Night March. But then we have the Steam Ups, which can do more damage, so... We'll see. So Compressor discarding some more Pokemon. Does he have a Floatstone to retreat? Uh, eight, nine, yeah, four, five, six. He's doing one sixty right now. So Ultra discarding a uh, Lysander or something else. Oh boy, oh boy, we are. All right, there's a Feral Letter. Okay. Just gotta hope he whiffs a Floatstone. He must already have Shaman in hand if he didn't grab it. Oh, he doesn't have a Shaman. Thank the Lord. All right, so we get a Fighter G. Uh, we don't have, we have, we already have two in the discard pile. We're already taking a knockout, so I'm going to fire to this guy. No, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to steam up, discard a fire to license up the Joltic, and take a knockout that way. We get his DC off the field, which I think is a li little bit better play. So, a power heater for the knockout, okay, doing 50, putting energy on this guy to energy on this guy. All right, so we get out of five press cards. We get a chorus, all righty. And on to our opponent's turn. I'm uh, gonna set the combi. Now, right now, combi four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's doing 110. So, a combi, Joltek, Trainer's Mail. Look at top four cards of his deck. Gonna find a muscle band. That's probably not what he needs, but he does have the unknown. So, muscle band to the bench Joltek. Via Seeker for Sycamore. Discard his hand, drawn seven new cards. Has not even put down a Shaman yet. That's insane. All right, so we see a best week coming down. Unknown. Compressor going to discard three cards out of his deck. And let's see, what does he discard here? Um, does he find a DCE? He already has two in the discard pile, so he might have. He has two left overall. He does probably play special charges and stuff like that. But my plan next turn is to rescue stretch the Volcanium back in our hand. Put it back down, course for nine, and see where we go from there. So Compressor, going to discard even more cards out of his deck. Just going to keep thinning his deck out. And he's eventually going to start just one-shotting. And, and I don't... I'm a little nervous. Um, so Compressor, discarding some more stuff, okay? Feral letter number one. Does he find a DCE? Feral letter number two. Okay. Does he find a DC or not? He's already discarded two. We haven't seen any puzzles or special charges. He has 13 cards left in deck. He actually doesn't have a second page. Oh, yeah, he does. What am I talking about? <laughs> all right. Yeah, no DC. No, no, man. All right. It looks like, hey, so send to the Joltik. And there's a DCE. And he will Night March for the knockout. Do 180 damage. Okay. So he goes out of five. We'll send to the Turtonator GX. And on our turn, let's see what do we find here. So another Turtonator. So we'll Stretcher. We'll put a uh, Volcanian down on our bench. Alright. And we're going to... I need to draw a ton of cards. So I'm going to VS Seeker for a Sycamore. Uh, or Juniper, sorry. We're just going to discard our hand draw on seven new cards. Okay. I just accidentally Lysander. No. I got the Lysander instead of... Oh my goodness. Wow, this is bad now. All right, so we're gonna license the Combi because I just misclicked there. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, misclick for the year. Yep, that was a huge misclick. Oh man.
All right, does he find a best queen? Does he find a DCE? There's unknown, okay. Just can't believe that just happened. Mm-hmm. There's a best queen. He's going to only do 180 right now at Joltik. If I remember correctly. All right, so he didn't take a knockout. Okay, we're still living. Oh, my goodness. All right, so there's a Juniper that we needed last turn, so... All right, so... Uh... Well, Juniper discard our hand, draw a bunch of new cards. We get the fire energy and the computer search. All right, so we have the computer search. I'm gonna discard Volcanian and a Shaman. To grab a Starmie. We'll put down the Starmie. We will Space Beacon, discarding an N. To put two fire energies in our hand. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, we'll put a fighter G in the active. We'll steam up, discard a fighter G. And we will go for a shell trap for the Naka. Go down to four prize cards. Just can't believe we, uh. That turn a second ago, we, we definitely misclicked there. All right, so in our opponent's turn, he's going to take a knockout here, but we can in him, Space Beacon, and knock out the Vessel Queen, okay. We're going to both go down to three. We see a DCE. There's an N. Uh, N's not really going to matter too much. We have Space Beacon. We can just knock out these S Vessel Queens pretty easily. All right, so we see three Ultra Balls go in our hand, and we do have the Lele in deck. So we can end him down to two, and let's hope he doesn't find anything. So 80 damage coming down. I wish he had, nine. I wish he had 80 HP. <laughs> All right, so let's end up Volcanian. Okay. On our turn, let's see what happens. So we get a Fighter G. Great top deck. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Discard an Ultra Ball and Ultra Ball. To grab a Lele. We don't have an N in our deck though, that's the only problem here. The one N has already been played. All right, I'm still gonna grab a Lele for a... Um... A second more, so we'll do that. We will put a fighter in the active. We'll Lele for a second more, okay? Or Juniper, sorry. With Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Yep. And let's see, what do we get with the Juniper? This, oh man, dude, if only we had taken a knockout that turn. We don't find, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're in pretty bad shape here. Pretty rough shape, okay. Um, we'll put a fire to G. We already attached for turn. We have even a fire to just compile. There's so many misplays happening right now, unfortunately. We'll put down execute. And we'll power heater for the knockout doing 40 damage. Putting a fire to G on this guy. And 24 to 60, 80. And on the Lele? Huh. Okay. They go down to three. We get a fire G. Does he find a DC? He should have a DC. I mean, he only has two cards left. Okay. Uh, there's a DC in the active. Jolta coming down. Uh-oh. This is not going to be good, guys. So, be your range for 200. Okay, so we need a top deck. Um, We need a top deck. And in. Nope, that's bad. All right, so he's pretty much got the game. There's no way we can survive a hit. He's going to take a knockout, and uh, there's pretty much nothing we can do. But we're going to have some fun here. We're going to put down Volcanion. We're going to we're gonna grab three X Pokemon or grab Volcanion X. Man, that misplay. I think even though if we would have took a knockout, we still probably would have lost the game. And it's a pretty mad, bad matchup. So Steam up number one, discarding a Fire Energy. Steam up number two, discard another Fire Energy. Uh, steam up number three. Discard another Fire Energy. Put a Fire Energy on the active. Um, and we'll Volcano Heat. Going down to two. I don't think my opponent played any Shamans. Um, if he played Shamans, this match would be totally different. I think this is the first, like, best queen list I see not play any Shamans. Like, he definitely didn't play any Shamans. There's a decent active, and he'll be able to Night March for 180 damage. Taking a knockout and taking the game. And there we go, guys. I mean, so we lost to Archstoys. We lost to Night March. So 
Maybe the deck's not as good as we think it is. I mean, it was a lot of fun. Game one, using that Nitro Tank, get a bunch of stuff out. But if you play against decks that can hit for weakness, that have like these non EX attackers that do a ton of damage, you can easily take down this Volcania Terminator deck. So maybe it's not the best play. It's definitely really fun. I'm never really a big fan of Volcania anymore. It's not, I don't know. It's different for me now, but maybe if you play maybe more baby Volcanians, you might have a chance. But the Terminator version, just like straight Terminator Volcania, definitely doesn't have a chance against these non EX variants like Night March and Vest Queen and stuff like that. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope we learned something new about the Terminator Volcania deck. I mean, unfortunately, we did we did well game one, and then game two, my opponent blew up and did crazy. And game number three, uh, I grabbed the wrong card. So what happens sometimes when you're talking and not paying attention, you grab wrong stuff. But let's look at our opponent's deck. We can see our opponent's deck. Did he really not play any shamans? He played one shaman and didn't put it down the whole game. Okay. Alrighty, guys. But there we go. There's Expanded Thursday. We played our Terminator Volcania deck, the last GX we have not seen from the new set, which is Terminator. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, maybe don't play Volcanian in, in expanded formats for your League Cups right now. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.